NHL is a series of professional ice hockey simulation video games developed by EA Canada and published yearly by Electronic Arts under the EA Sports brand. The game is developed under license from the National Hockey League NHL, which enables the use of the league's team names, stadiums and colors in the game, and the National Hockey League Players Association NHLPA, which enables the use of the league's player names and likenesses. Installments Carrot is NHL hockey Carrot Joe Thornton was originally chosen, but EA switched to Danny Heatley after Thornton was accused of assaulting two police officers. Thornton's cover was never produced. After the 2003–04 season had begun, Heatley was involved in a car crash that killed teammate Dan Snyder, prompting EA to switch covers to one featuring Joe Sackick. Carrot Patrick Kane was originally slated to share the cover with teammate Jonathan Taves, however, following sexual assault claims made against Kane, he was dropped from the cover. Carrot EU in Europe, Carrot Den in Denmark, Carrot Finn in Finland, Carrot Rus in Russia, Carrot SWE in Sweden, Carrot Sway in Switzerland, Carrot CZE in Czech Republic. Topic. Game covers. As is traditional with EA Sports, the NHL series boxes feature live-action photos instead of drawings. As it lacked the NHLPA license, the early titles staged photos without real players. NHLPA Hockey 93, on the other hand, had the rights to use player images, but not of the teams. On this cover, the main action photo features the New York Rangers' Randy Mahler checking the Philadelphia Flyers' Rod Brindamore while Rangers' goaltender Mike Richter makes a save. In this photo there is the logo of the New York Rangers located on the bottom right of the goaltender's pants. This photo is surrounded by eight small portraits of players Steve Iserman, Andy Moog, Pat LaFontaine, Brian Leach, Ray Bork, Patrick Waugh, Jeremy Roenick, and Rick Tockett. This changed with NHL 94, which featured a goal situation for Tomas Sandstrom LA Kings against Andy Moog Boston. NHL 95 featured an in-goal camera during a goal scored by Alexei Kovalev of the New York Rangers during the 94 Stanley Cup Finals against Kirk McLean of the Vancouver Canucks. NHL 96 featured New Jersey's Scott Stevens and Detroit's Steve Iserman. More recently, Claude Giroux was featured on the cover of NHL 13 and Martin Brodeur was on the cover of NHL 14. On June 24, 2014, EA Sports announced at the 2014 NHL Awards in Las Vegas that Patrice Bergeron of the Boston Bruins would be the official cover athlete for NHL 15. In 2015, during the NHL Awards, it was announced that the cover of NHL 16 would feature Jonathan Taves and Patrick Kane carrying the Stanley Cup together. However, on August 12, 2015, EA announced that Kane would not be appearing on the cover or participating in any promotional activities for the game in light of a criminal investigation he was involved in. Instead, the cover featured Taves alone. At the 2016 NHL Awards, it was announced that Vladimir Tarasenko of the St. Louis Blues was to appear on the cover of NHL 17. On June 21, 2017, during the 2017 NHL Awards, EA announced that Connor McDavid of the Edmonton Oilers would be the cover athlete on NHL 18. Topic: <laughs> Commentary. In NHLPA 93 and NHL 94, Emmy Award-winning sportscaster Ron Barr gives a pregame scouting report prior to each game. In the Genesis version of NHL 95, KNBR radio sportscaster John Schrader replaced Ron Barr in that duty. Live play-by-play -play commentary was introduced in NHL 97. Jim Hewson, currently play-by-play -play man for CBC's Hockey Night in Canada and also one of Canada's best-known hockey announcers, provided the play-by-play -play for much of the series. The last games in which he is one of the announcers are the PC and PS2 versions of NHL 09. Bill Clement was the sole commentator in the Nintendo 64 version of NHL 99. Gary Thorne provided the play-by-play -play commentary in all Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions from NHL 07 through NHL 14. NBC Sports commentator Mike. Doc. Emmerich currently provides the play-by-play -play commentary on all platforms, with his first appearance being in NHL 15. 
NHL 15 was also the first game to introduce an ice level analyst, with TSN analyst Ray Ferraro appearing in the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 versions of the game. Color commentary has been provided by Daryl Raw Bill Clement and 2006-14 for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, Don Taylor Craig Simpson and Ed. Eddie. Olchik 2014 present. Topic: <inaudible> Soundtracks. NHL 99 was the first game in the series to feature fully licensed music from David Bowie. Since then, each game has had soundtracks of licensed music known as EA Sports Tracks, with selections of punk, alternative, and rock music, electronic and hip-hop music was later added to the mix in later games. NHL 15 and NHL 16 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One use an original orchestral score instead for the menus, while the soundtrack continues playing in the arenas. NHL 17 returned to the traditional EA Tracks feature and also allowed the option to switch back to the original score from NHL 15. <laughs> NHL series in popular culture <laughs> Swingers The removal of fights in NHL Hockey 94 was addressed in the 1996 movie Swingers. Trent. I wish they still had fights in this game, so I could bitch slap Wayne. Mike. What? They don't have fighting anymore? Trent. Doesn't that suck? Mike. Why'd they get rid of the fighting? It was the best part of the old version. Sue. I think kids were hitting each other or something, man. Trent. Yeah, but you know what, Mike? You can make their heads bleed in this one. Mike. Make somebody's head bleed. Sue. No man, we're in the playoffs. Trent. I'm gonna make Wayne Gretzky's head bleed for superfan number 99 over here. However, this is not completely accurate, as bleeding players were also removed. They also were playing. NHLPA Hockey 93 which had blood and fighting, but the fighting was strategic and players like Gretzky would rarely, if at all, have fought. This was due to his low fighter and aggressiveness ratings, while higher-profile enforcers such as Ty Domi, Bob Probert, Basil McRae and Tony Twist had very high ratings of each, making each more likely to be called for penalties including fighting, others such as Gretzky had low ratings of both, making the latter not only less likely to fight, but also less likely to take any penalties at all. However, in the original, NHL Hockey, Gretzky was able to fight more often. <laughs> Mallrats Kevin Smith's 1995 movie Mallrats featured Jason Lee as Brody Bruce playing NHL All-Star Hockey for the Sega Saturn in the DVD commentary, Kevin Smith admitted to loving the NHL series but having to use Sega's game for sponsor reasons. However, the sound effects used were from EA Sports' NHL series. Game audience cheering, Renee, what the hell are you doing? Brody, finishing my game. Renee. No, no, no. You promised me breakfast. Brody, breakfast? Breakfast, schmirkfest. Look at the score. I'm only in the middle of the second, and I'm winning 12 to 2. Breakfasts come and go, Renee. Now, Hartford. The whale. Hey, they only beat Vancouver once. Maybe twice in a lifetime. Topic. Wonder. In the 2017 book Adaption Wonder, the beginning scenes show August playing a game between the Vancouver Canucks and the New York Rangers in NHL 17 after mentioning he likes playing such games. It is, however, quite hard to notice. See also List of ice hockey video games Sports game